Our world has changed. We don't get to gather like we used to. At first, I really missed the excitement of traveling to give a talk. I loved the energy from the crowd and, and being witness to all that awakening live. Then our 600 stores closed. So much disappeared overnight. Sometimes life isn't going to go to plan. As Winston Churchill said, never waste a good crisis. So I went to work. I drew from the stoic wisdom that I teach in my book and talks. We built a state-of-the-art in-house studio. I started doing Instagram lives and podcasts. We used our platform to lift other businesswomen. I've always loved lifting others. Now I'm able to deliver just as powerful a talk virtually. I love the Q&A afterwards. The chat gives everyone the power to engage directly and immediately in that moment. Do you ever have an idea and people say it's too big? Use cathedral thinking. The architects of the great cathedrals knew that it takes 400 years to build a cathedral. They knew they would never see the steeples of their glorious vision touch the heavens, but they knew it was worth designing. Cathedral thinking. Event organizers have told me the reason their audiences are connecting with my virtual talk and unique leadership model is twofold. First, the seven virtues model of wonder, balance, truth, courage, justice, wisdom, and beauty is based on a 2,400-year-old philosophy that is guaranteed principles that can't fail you. And second, I put my words into action. As the CEO and founder of one of the top clean perfume brands in the world, I too am living in a competitive business world that requires philosophical direction. I applied the wisdom to my own company. Now in 2020, despite the pandemic, our growth in sales are outpacing the entire perfume industry with 81% growth over last year, breaking our own records too. I want everyone I work with to learn the steps to visualize and take action in this new world. I look forward to when we can be together again and host our retreats and mastermind gatherings. Until then, it's in our interest to lift one another. As the mother of feminism, Mary Wollstonecraft said, the beginning is always today. The world is ours. <laughs>